Question number six. In order to complete these tables, it's important to notice that these functions are linear. And what linear means is that they have a common difference. Whenever you have a common difference, that means that there's a growth rate that's the same between every y value. So if we start on 6a, you can tell that the common difference here is subtract 3. So to continue that common difference, you would continue to subtract 3 for every single line. So 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, and negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. If you can't do these in your head, of course, you can use the calculator to the right. On the second one, uh, it gets a little trickier because you can't see what the common difference is for the first step, but you can see that after two steps, it goes from negative 4 to 6. It might even be easier to look from 6 to 16. From 6 to 16, you have a growth rate of plus 10. Now, if you wanted to look at that in just one step, you could say that one step would be plus 5, and the second step would be also plus 5. So the common difference here is 5. Negative 4 plus 5 would give you positive 1. Positive 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11, 16 plus 5 is 21, and 21 plus 5 is 26.